Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us right here is Seamus McGrath here I am. from McGrath's Tavern. How are you this morning, Seamus? I'm fantastic. Well, there you go. Well, you're, uh, you're a small pony today. I'm a small, oh, no, I'm a pony. I'm a small, a little, it. I'm a little, a little horse. horse. There you go. Yeah, right. but uh, no, it's uh, no rest for the weary. We're ge uh, gearing up to uh, St. Patrick's Day. Um, Corned beef and cabbage, we're already starting to get that already and, uh, you know, going. Um, takes a long time to, to braise off and to, to get going. But If uh, you do it right. If you do it right and we do it right. So uh, we will start serving that on Monday. Um, so uh, tomorrow. And uh, wow, time flies. It's it does, Monday's yeah. Monday's tomorrow. Monday's tomorrow, yeah, already. Uh, even with daylight savings, Monday's tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, we'll start serving that. Uh, all the fixings, uh, corned beef, cabbage, potato, carrot, turnip. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Come in and get your uh, your fixing for it. Well, that's, uh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. That's, uh, well, I wore green today. You can see that. So yes. This is my green. I wore that in, in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Yep. And uh, you being kind of an Irish pub, I guess, is just kind of one of those things that... A little bit uh, of an understatement. Yeah. People will probably start lining up outside today. Uh, yesterday. You know? Yeah. 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 Lines out the door. No. Um, you can uh, definitely come in. Uh, if you uh, don't want to make it out on St. Patrick's Day, come in this week. Get your corned beef and cabbage fix. Um, we're going to be uh, serving it. We, we open at 3.30 all week long. Today we open at noon, um, but we're going to start serving the corned beef and cabbage tomorrow. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And, uh, so, oh, and uh, the uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, t-shirts for this year are in. Um, those are always a big hit. They're a limited edition, so come in and get your limited edition 2016 St. Patrick's Day shirt. That's, and, and it's dark colored this year, so in case you spill your corned beef yes, on Yes, exactly, you. exactly. Well, I, I you know, I, I usually end up spilling a lot on me. Well, they, you know, you it's, it's my favorite meal. I eat it for two weeks straight right around this time of the year, and nobody wants to be around me. But uh, then I usually don't, don't eat it again until the next year. Well, it's, what, it's funny, like we were just talking about uh, preparing it correctly. Yes. When I was younger, I had corned beef and cabbage, and it was one of the most disgusting things I'd ever had in my life. Um, and then I had it a few years ago because somebody said, well, you didn't have it right. I'm like, and I had good corned beef and cabbage. Yeah. You know, and uh, what a difference. You oh, know, yeah. Like you say, you're, you're, you know, you're cooking it off for days ahead of time. and You have to. I mean, it takes a good eight hours to cook a real good corned beef brisket. So, um, and when you go through hundreds and hundreds of pounds like we do um you have to start early <laughs> that's a lot yeah. so who's you gotta you're gonna have live music on yes Thursday, we obviously. always have uh, shark martin play on st patrick's day um they're our house band they play once a month uh they play all our big events and this is definitely one of our big events so well, that's pretty cool and shark martin is in the uh <coughs> mwvf uh, music, yes, local they are. music uh, spotlight. Yes, so. actually, they'll be playing at our place on Tuesday as well, uh, from seven to nine, um, as part of that uh, radio uh, uh, battle of the bands. Yep, that's awesome. And oh, then yeah. they'll be back on on Thursday. On Thursday. With that. Yep. And uh, you'll probably have some drink specials on Thursday, I imagine. Oh, there'll be uh, plenty of Guinness flowing. We have uh, Tell 'Em a Do uh, promo going from nine to eleven. Um, the Guinness promo starts around eight-ish. They have that rolling bus from Amiskeg and uh, they're rolling in right around eight-ish. That's what they... Eight-ish. Eight-ish. Um, but yeah, that uh, we'll have Guinness flowing all week long, uh, in particularly that day. Uh, we'll have Spinnix on tap. We'll have Moats uh, Matilda Red on tap. So uh, we really go... I don't know why we go for the Irish theme on yeah, St. Patrick's Day. I, I think so. But the the great thing too is that you can get the get your Irish uh, any other time of year. Also, yes, yes, year regard. round. Uh, we have great dishes on the menu that uh, are Irish dishes. We have shepherd's pie, which is uh, made with lamb, not with beef, because it's right. like cowboy pie. Yeah. Um, we have uh, our Irish nachos, um, and we have corned beef year round with our Reuben and Reuben skins. People rave about our Reuben. Um, it's uh, it's definitely a our top seller on the menu for sandwiches. Well, very so, cool. Yeah. Now, what happens after St. Patty's Day? You're still, you're still going to have live bands, still going to have all the fun. Yep. Uh, actually, uh, this uh, a week from uh, yesterday, this coming Saturday, will be our last Saturday doing live entertainment. Um, and this Wednesday will be our last Wednesday doing live entertainment until next winter. Um, we have Jeremy Dean this coming Saturday. And this coming Wednesday from 6 to 9, we have uh, Mike and Becca from uh, Reckless. Great. So, uh, yeah, we've got music all week long, um, and uh, that's actually in uh, coordination with uh, uh, the end-of-the-year Meister race, 
which hopefully happens. Yeah. Um, right now we're uh, we're currently in third. We're defending champs. Oh, and, that's uh, great. We actually we I had two teams over at Atatash. We won first and third over there. So I have to give a big shout out to Corey and the race department or the uh, events department over at Atatash and Thomas as he was leaving. Shook my hand and congratulated us on uh, that win as well. That's great. So good for you guys. Yeah. How do you have time to do that when you're cooking corned beef? Well, though? you know, when you live up here, you have to ski. So you have to make some time to ski. Right. And uh, and the conditions right now are unbelievable. So uh, so yeah, even though we're we're doing a lot of cooking with the corned beef, we still get out there and shush around a little. There you go. <laughs> so what are you, uh, what are the hours for uh, McGrath's in case somebody isn't familiar yeah, with that? We are open from 3.30 until, well, the kitchen's open from 3.30 until 9, midweek, and then from noon until 9 on the weekends. Um, the bar stays open accordingly. Uh, you know, if it's packed in there, we'll stay open all night until uh, last call. Yep. Uh, if it dies down, we'll close down a little early. But uh, Thursday nights, we're always open until uh, last call because we always have the bands. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, come on down. Definitely check it out. You can also check out the website. Yep, McGrath's Tavern NH .com. And, and uh, also on uh, Facebook, McGrath's Tavern NH. And then you can, that way you can find out, you know, kind of peruse the menu ahead of time. Yes. Decide what you want. So when you go in there, boom. Yep, as well as a full lineup of our uh, entertainment schedule. Sounds very cool. Yeah. Well, Seamus, thanks so much for coming down. And, of course, we'll see you on Thursday. Yes. There at McGrath's Tavern. And, uh just recommend probably getting there early is yeah, uh, early would be the, would best, be the best yeah the best way to yeah, do it yeah it's so. going to be uh, just slightly busy